Hey, welcome to the UCC's COVID-19 uh, weekly bulletin for the week of September the 9th. We want to thank our sponsors from the Canadian Red Cross and the Government of Canada for helping bring this programming to you. We have a couple of items uh, of interest for this week. Uh, Otis, can you tell us about some of the government announcements that are in the bulletin? Sure. So there's uh, information about the extension of the Canada Emergency Commercial Rent Assistance Program. Uh, we've also got some uh, information about the gradual reopening of Service Canada centers across Canada. And finally, there's information for our students on the Canada Emergency Student Benefit, uh, for which the deadline for applications is September 30th, 2020. So you can read about that in our weekly bulletin. Thanks, August. And speaking of uh, students, it's back to university classes for many students. Uh, Asya, can you tell us about our upcoming community conversations? For sure. So we have been getting a great feedback from our back to school conversation for our younger students. Uh, so we thought we should have a conversation with our post-secondary students and student organizations from across Canada, so they can share with us their challenges of going back to, to their school or uh, studying online and their ideas on how they manage their time and studying and their social life. Um, and I think this conversation will be also of interest to parents of students, especially those uh, who have left home to study elsewhere for the very first time. So if you are interested, please register for the back to school conversation with our post-secondary students. Uh, and that will take place on September 16 at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Um, the link to register is provided in this COVID update. And also, uh, if you want to rewatch our previous community conversations, um, you can do this on our YouTube. Дякую. І Лесі також наші молодші студенти йдуть в класи. Які ресурси ми маємо для них? Заходи, що використовуються в шкільних умовах для пом'якшення ризиків передачі COVID-19, можуть включати як особисті профілактичні практики, що застосовуються окремими людьми для захисту себе та інших, так і заходи на рівні громади, що проводяться муніципалітетами, керівництвом громад, шкільними радами чи окремими людьми. Дізнатися більше про підхід до прийняття рішень щодо COVID-19 у школах ви можете знайти у нашому тижневику. Радимо всім прочитати цей такий важливий документ. Так, ексалент. І, Маріана, last but not least, uh, we know that the, that the art sector, our cultural groups have been facing a tough time through COVID and, and as they continue through the fall. Can you tell us about the survey that the Shuchenko Foundation is doing? Yes, so the Shuchenko Foundation is checking in with individuals, groups and organizations working in the fields of art, education, heritage and community development to get a better understanding about the impact of COVID-19 uh, on the organization. The survey is really short. It has nine quick questions to find out about obstacles, economic impacts and adjustments that your organization had to make because of COVID-19. And the deadline to fill it out is September 14th, 2020. The link is in yeah, our and, and excellent. Thank you. And the UCC will be working with Shuchanko Foundation uh, on these issues as we have been to make sure that we uh, convey those concerns to the Government of Canada. And uh, there's a great smile of the week which celebrates Ukrainian Canadian Heritage Day, which was earlier in the week. We thank everybody for their support and participation, even at home in that special day. And again, we remind you to check out ucc.ca, which is our website, which has all of our COVID resources. And you can also, also be in touch with us through national office at ucc.ca if you have any content that you want to share. We wish everybody a safe uh, back to school uh, whether it's in person or online, and we'll talk to you soon next week. Again, thank you to the Canadian Red Cross and the Government of Canada. Do Do